What's up everybody, Afrin here, back on the bay, doing a little evening session. We got a tide going low to high, so we have a really nice tide swing all evening. So hopefully that pushes those bay bass into the feeding frenzy, which we like to have them in. We're gonna start off by fishing moving baits until the sun goes down. And once the sun goes down, we're gonna fish the swim jigs and underspins. So right now I have all Sartreuse tied on. Sartreuse underspin, Sartreuse swim jig, and a Sartreuse crankbait. We're gonna do a mini challenge, a Sartreuse challenge, and see how that goes. So one thing I've learned about spotted bay bass over these years of fishing them is they love bright green. That's one of the first things I learned about these fish back in the day. So let's see if we can get a few fish on these baits. There we go, guys. Our first fish right there. Working the bottom with the underspin. Just kind of popping it through the grass there. See what we got. Yeah. Nice bay bass. All right. Dude is locked jawed, boy. <laughs> All right. Got that first bay bass. Got that first bay bass right there. Half ounce DCP Warbait's underspin with a Sartreuse Kalen's grub. Little bay bass. All right. Let the little guy go. We got our first one of the evening. Feeling good about it. Got him a little deeper water than I expected. That was in about 10 feet of water, and I've been fishing in you know, that eight foot. So let's move out a little bit and see if we can't catch another one. While I'm trying to get to my main spot, we're gonna do a little drift through, fish some grass patches. I've been fishing the underspin with that Kalen's grub for about a month. I really like that body. That body's a round body, fits on the back of that underspin real nice. And it gives room for that underspin to, to spin, the blade to spin. That's the whole key with the underspin. You need to be able to have that blade spinning. So with the underspin, it, it is wise to fish like a, a rounder bait, a smaller profile bait. And with that grub, single tail grub, it has that tail. That tail's super thin. So any movement in the water is going to take that tail and have it move and they're not that expensive. You can find a grub almost at any store. So cast out, let the underspin sink to the bottom. Once you feel it hit the bottom, pick it up and start winding. Nice and slow wind over the grass structure. Bring it through that grass. Doesn't have to be super fast right now. A nice cadence above the eelgrass. That's what's gonna get you bit. There we go, guys. Oh, yeah. The one on the crankbait. So, we got another one on that. We marked off another bait on that challenge. Got a little bay bass here. Small guy. Got him on that Sartreuse crankbait. So, we're checking off the baits on our list. All right, guys, let's keep after it. That was a bite right there, guys. Missed it. Right after I popped it, he smashed it, and I wound into it, I missed it. But the good thing here is I'm able to feel that, I put the heavier head on, and I'm able to feel that bottom. I can feel it smashing into the ground. Now I have a little bit more confidence while I'm fishing. But I ate it on the drop, pop, pop, and I paused it, and on the way, there we go. See that, it was a pop, pop, pause. And on the drop, on the pause, the bait was falling back down. And he ate it. <laughs> Chunky little bay bass. All right, little guy, get him in. So I put on that heavier head, put on that three quarter ounce head, and I have a zoom fluke. It's a simple zoom fluke, and the tail does a little bit of flicker but the blade is doing all the work. This is a great presentation for fishing for spotted bay bass. Hand for halibut, maybe we'll get one of those things. There we go, got, oh, he came off. That was on the pause, I let it hit, I let it drop all the way back to the bottom, and he ate it. Felt like a better fish, too. Still got my plastic. Oh, man. Felt like a good one, it's heavy. Oh. 
Oh my God, that was a big bite. Oh, he smoked it. Such a big bite. Let's try it again. All right, guys, I'm currently here in the docks, fishing the swim jig, swimming it over the pilings, swimming it by the pilings, swimming it underneath the docks. Tide's not ripping tonight. It's actually moving. It is going up. It's just moving a little bit slower than I expected. So we're searching for uh, we're searching for a bite right now. I thought they'd be up in these docks, but I haven't got one yet. Oh my God! Why did I do that for? Guys, that was such a ripper bite. Pulled the skirt down, pulled the jig off. Dude, I blew it. I just blew it. I was letting them eat it for so long and I didn't even set the hook. Put a little sauce on it and redo it again. Got him that time. I don't know if this is the same fish, but I got a little one. Stuck him. He got himself so good. I don't know. There we go. Might just be small fish in this area. <laughs> Spotted bay bass. Miniature style. Nighttime on the docks. And he ate war bait swim jig, roach color with a net bait paca craw on the back. And I've been adding a little sauce to it, just a little sauce on the on the trailer. So that fish actually bit on the outside of the pilings. So the docks are inward, and a bit on on the lateral side of it, parallel side. So we'll give that a try again. And tonight I'm using. An Abu Garcia Revo inshore with 50 pound braided line to 20 pound leader line. I use this reel for a lot of different applications. It's the first time I'm using it with the swim jig and I got it paired up with a ritual angling 7.5 heavy and this is the first time I'm using this rod for spotted bay bass as well. I like it so far. I'm able to jack pull those fish right out of the water on the bites. I'm just looking for that bigger fish. Let's continue down the bank see what we can get. Had to call it early the cord from my light to my battery pack the cord broke so no lights no nighttime fishing nobody would be able to see anything so i fished a little bit more through some of those docks but then i had a, i just called it early so guys it was a pretty fun night out there i got to try some new gear got to try those new rods and i did a little bit of a sartreuse challenge and i got bit on two of the three and then i changed up that swim jig to a darker presentation and i got those bites on that it was a fun time overall Always stuck to be on the water. All right guys, thanks for all the support out there. I really appreciate it. Some of the baits will be featured in the description below if you guys wanna check those out. Thanks for those comments and questions. I really appreciate it. You guys are killing it out there with all the support. All right guys, day or night, get out there, go fishing, hook a giant.